Hi guys, it is Aoife from Fred Weasley Day Laughing and I'm here with my final weekly wrap up of 2017. I can't believe the year is over. It went really really fast, which is like what I say every year, but this year it seems to go extra fast, I don't know. Um, so I finished four books this week, which I'm pretty happy with. I hit my reading goal, or just one book um, after my reading goal, which was 250 books. So I read 251 books this year. Um, and when once I hit that, I was a little bit like, I don't want to push myself into reading another one. I could probably, if I really tried, get one more book read. But I decided to kind of give it a break for this weekend. Um, and I had a few magazines piled up. So I have enjoyed just kind of flicking through them. And also reading a little bit of Anna Karenina, which I've been reading for months. And just seems to never end. Uh, but I have been uh, reading a little bit of that and my magazines, which I've been really enjoying. So the first book I mentioned right, briefly last week, which was Moonlight Over Manhattan by Sarah Morgan. And this is a book that I got um, from HarperCollins uh, as part of like a Christmas package from them, which was very nice. So this is about a girl called Harriet. She is a dog walker and she suffers a lot from kind of shyness and isn't very confident in herself. She had a stammer when she was growing up and it kind of affected her ability to really kind of do daring things and be a little bit of a daredevil. So she's kind of challenged herself in December that she wants to do kind of scary things almost every day. She wants to challenge herself. Um, and part of this challenge ends up with her going into the EOR one night because she has sprained her ankle and she meets this really, really good looking doctor. Um, and they're kind of past cross again when she ends up look, uh, minding this dog who is the doctor's sister's dog um, and he's looking after her. They kind of end up seeing each other a lot and there's like a chemistry growing between them and it's just a little bit about their romance and about Harriet kind of doing her daring things and being a little daring in this relationship. It is just like a lovely Christmassy wintry romance um, and it was really something I read. I've read this over the Christmas days and it was something I really enjoyed reading over Christmas because it was just light and fluffy and um, it did take me a little while to get into it and to properly connect with the characters. I'm not really sure why it could have been because of the busyness of Christmas in the house and you know I kind of was maybe a little bit distracted but when I really really kind of settled down and really allowed myself to get into the story. I ended up really really enjoying it and I really enjoyed kind of the chemistry between the characters um, and it's very obvious as well there's a lot of side characters in this like Harriet's brother and sister um, and the way sometimes they were talked about in the book and their relationships were talked about in the book um, I was like hmm I wonder it sounds like they might have their own stories and I looked it up and they do and I really enjoyed that like that there was obviously you know there's obviously something else there in like there was all these other stories behind this story so it made me want to go and read these other books from these other characters and find out their romantic stories and find out what happened with them. So I think I might have to check that out during the year, check out some more of Sarah Morgan's books and some of the characters that appeared in this book because that sounds like some really nice reading that I would like to do so I might check them out too. I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars I think overall um, and then I went from one extreme to another because I went for a thriller next and that was White Bodies by Jane Robbins. This is a book I also got from uh, Harper Collins in exchange for an honest review and I got this quite a while ago but I decided to wait until it came up to its publishing date which was December 28th and um, so this is out now for anyone who is interested in it if they want to give it a go um, and this is about uh, a set of twins Callie and Tilda and we are getting Callie's point of view during the story um, and Callie has always been like a little bit obsessed with Tilda when they were growing up. Tilda is like you know she is prettier and skinnier and a lot more famous than Callie because Tilda is an actress um, and Callie is always just a bit being a little bit possessive and a little bit obsessive over Tilda um, and Tilda ends up getting into this relationship with a man called Felix and after a while Callie feels that they're just there's not something feels something feels a little bit wrong with the relationship and she starts realizing that Felix seems to be a little bit controlling um, and possibly a little bit abusive towards Tilda um, so she's trying to kind of you know make sure Tilda you know has the help she needs she's letting Tilda know she's there for her and Tilda just doesn't want to know anything about it so Callie ends up kind of finding solace in this online community of people who are either being abused or friends of people being abused um, and she kind of starts trying to concocting a plan to save Tilda from Felix and things just get really dark and really really twisty and some people end up dead and it's just it's just a little bit insane this was this was one of those books where I had no idea who to trust like even Callie I didn't know whether I could trust her because some of the things she did was just so wrong and so insane and like she was talking about some stuff she did when she was a child and it genuinely made me feel so uncomfortable and I was just like I had to kind of just like look away from the page for a while because I was just like Oh, I can't really deal with this right now um, but I kind of love that I love when a book makes you, makes me feel uncomfortable which is probably a strange thing to say but I think a book especially a thriller 
is or horror I guess um if it's making me feel uncomfortable it's probably doing its job it's probably doing the job that it's designed to do that's been written to do um so I really enjoyed that I really enjoyed feeling a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit unnerved by Callie um so yeah I did very much enjoy this it was a very quick read as well um and I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars the next book I read was probably one of my favorite books of the year and it's The Cruel Prince by Holly Black which I got from Neck Alley um, in exchange for an honest review and this one oh, this one was just amazing I've heard a lot of buzz about this book um and I have read a couple of other I've read one other Holly Black book I think which I liked but I wasn't crazy about so I wasn't really sure what to go into this one but I do love the dark fae and I love the fae world when it's done right and this this one was done perfectly. This one was done amazingly. So this is about a girl called Jude and when she was younger her her twin sister um, and her older sister were all taken to fairy by this um, man who was her older sister's father. Their parents were murdered and they were taken to fairy. So they've grown up in fairy and but her and her twin sister are both humans. They are, There's no fairy in them whatsoever. So they've been basically living a very 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 dangerous life in fairy because humans can easily be tricked or killed in fairy um, and if it wasn't for the protection of their stepfather I guess their adoptive father um, they would be easily killed um, but Jude is tough she wants to stay in fairy she wants to kind of carve her right to be living in fairy she wants to become a knight um, and she's also getting a very hard time from one of the princes of fairy uh, Cardin he and him and his kind of gang of friends um, really like to bully her and her twin sister um, because they resent them because they're humans Jude ends up kind of getting this chance to prove herself from one of the other princes um, and a lot of political intrigue happens, a lot of dark stuff happens, and things just go crazy. Um, I don't want to say too much about this book because it was just, this was just such a pleasure to read. I just loved this. I loved it being one of my last books of the year. I loved the fact that it was one of my favourite books of the year. Um, this was just everything I wanted a Fae story to be. I kind of talked about it before in terms of the Fae stuff I like to read, where Fae are dark and they're tricksy and they're wicked and you can't trust a word they say. I love that. And this was done really well in this because we are in Fairy. We are seeing, you know, Holly Black didn't shy away from some of the horrible things the fairies do to each other and do to other human beings. Um, She, you know, we see all like the weird horrible creatures that some fairies can be and how some of them how they treat each other even as just as bad as they treat human beings like our characters are really always treading the tin line here like they any moment they could be tricked or they could be glamoured or they could be killed or they could be you know convinced to kill themselves uh, by fairy magic like there's so much stuff working against them that like I was like in fear of Jude's life the entire time I was reading this and there's just a lot of like chemistry in this between Jude and certain characters um which I loved there was just like so much sexual chemistry there I was just dying for something to happen the entire book I, I can't even put into words how good I thought this book was I just wanted to be in it forever and I wanted to continue on to the next book straight away which is so annoying because I have to wait so long for it to come out now um because it's not even out until the end of this week in the shops and um, I'm definitely going to be getting my own copy of this book like a physical copy of this book and I'll definitely be reading it again before the next book is out because this world was just everything as I said everything I wanted the fate to be this is what this book is and um, the end of this book just had me like gasping I did like I couldn't believe some of the stuff that happened in it and um, just kept me on the edge of my seat the entire time and I had to give this one a five out of five stars because it was just so good and the last book I read was When We Were by Alexandra Diaz this is a book that has been on my neck alley shelf for so long and it was really one that I actually knew going into it that I wasn't really going to like it but be honest I just wanted to have it read and be able to do a review of it because it had been so long on my shelf and um, this is about three girls there is Tara, Whitney and Pinky and um, they are three best friends and one day Tara's boyfriend um, is seen kissing another guy, a male cheerleader in the school and Tara kind of freaks out a little bit and it kind of just like puts into play like this weird dynamic between the three girls and Tara ends up becoming friends with a new girl in school called Riley and it soon becomes clear that she has romantic feelings towards Riley but she's never had romantic feelings towards a girl before. So this book has a lot of like LGBTQIA rep I guess like bisexual rep mostly um but I think some of it was done in the wrong way um I feel like in terms of Tara liking Riley I felt like it was probably done well um you know she came she did come into her feelings like 
she didn't really question her feelings that much she kind of accepted them uh, her parents her, her mother accepted it um, which was very nice there was a lot of acceptance there for her but in terms of her ex-boyfriend when he was kissing he was seen kissing there was never ever any conversation about that about his feelings whether he's feeling confused whether he needed someone to talk to and like yeah if you if your boyfriend was seen kissing another guy you would be very upset but if it was something that you never thought that he would want to do I would like to think that I even if, if it was my boyfriend I'd like to think if even if I was upset I'd still like to talk to him like maybe he want, would want to talk to someone about it maybe he needed to talk to someone about his sexuality if he was confused or if he was a bit like I don't know and I just I didn't like that that was there he was he he was made out to be this big villain um, and a big kind of player and this guy with no feelings and I don't know I just would have liked that to there to be a conversation at some point with him about his sexuality and about his feelings and I just thought that, that was a missed opportunity. Um, my favourite character in this was actually the bitchiest character, which was Whitney. Um, she was very, very bitchy. A lot of the stuff that was happening in this book, there was a lot of cattiness and a lot of bitchiness that needed, need, didn't need to be there, was there just to make the story a little bit, like have a little bit of spark to it, I guess. But I didn't really like it. This kind of girl on girl hate constantly throughout the book was just, I'm not there for that. Um, Whitney though I just found her to be a very interesting character because she's extremely bitchy but she's extremely loyal and ex an extremely good friend because everything she does is for her friends and for her friends happiness um, and I liked that about her but um, yeah I just and then there was Pinky who was basically just a little bit pathetic she was this character who was very hard to like Um there was a a review on Goodreads that said that she was like that relative that you always try to avoid because they're so embarrassing or and so annoying and that is so apt with her that is how I would feel about her as well um, and she's also homophobic Um there were some things she said in this book that were very homophobic when she realized that Tara could be in a relationship with Riley um, and I don't feel like that was sorted out at the end of the book um like near the end of the book it's kind of made out that she's okay with it but there was never another conversation there um and I would have liked that as well so yeah this book was it wasn't very good like I don't think I would recommend it to people um I just read it just because I needed to read it basically and um, yeah so I gave this a two out of five stars so that is everything I have read uh this week and for the rest of the year um thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have a very very happy new year um and I will see you guys again next year